A Belgian adventurer has made history by completing a world-first winter crossing of Tasmania. Louis-Philippe Lonk crossed the state north to south with only the supplies and equipment he could carry on his back. The quest took its toll. Lonk completed the journey with cuts, bruises and weighing 15 kilos less. Georgie Burgess reports from Cockle Creek. Emerging from the Tasmanian wilderness after 52 gruelling days. Oh, I'm happy. Congratulations. I'm happy. It's, it's over. 41 year old Belgian adventurer Louis Philippe Lonk has completed a world first winter crossing of Tasmania from Penguin to the south coast. I know they're not the best Belgian chocolates. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just need food. <laughs> Dubbed the Mad Belgian for his attempt, Mr Lonk left on the 8th of August and encountered thick snow on much of his journey. The rules? He must only sleep in his tent, not use any roads and not be resupplied. There are two really, really hard things on this expedition. The weight of the pack and then the fact that you cannot stop moving. Anything you stop moving, you're getting cold. He had to carry everything he needed on his back. You know, when I started, I was like, I don't want more than 65 kilograms because I believe this is the max I can really carry. And at the start, I was like, I have two headlights. Ah, come on. Two rolls of toilet papers. Ah, just one. Two boots, pair of boots. <sighs> Go with one. The traverse included rafting Tasmania's remote lakes and rivers. There was a particularly hairy crossing of Lake Gordon on his small inflatable raft. Come on, get out. I, I paddled as hard as I could, could enjoy the coastline. And that's where actually, with my paddle effort and the wind, I, I landed on the island and I was stranded for 24 hours. Louis-Philippe Long's endpoint is here at Cockle Creek in Tasmania's far south. That's a journey of more than 500 kilometres over some of Australia's most remote and gruelling terrain. And he's got the scars to prove it. Yeah, it's still open as well. As well as cuts and bruises, Mr Lonk lost 15 kilos during the traverse, running out of food towards the end. For now, he'll enjoy some treats before thinking about his next adventure. Georgie Burgess, ABC News, Cockle Creek. Oh.